Hey guys, Glucia here, and today I'm going to go ahead and build the stone structure that we've been talking about. Now, a couple things to talk about. First of all, my tie-in to my Minecraft Machinima series, for those of you that don't know, in the last episode of Minecraft Adventures, I talked about a new series that I have uh, for Machinima Realm, where I am basically reviewing texture packs, and the texture packs, where I review three different texture packs per episode, and then those texture packs are voted on by the viewers. And then the winner of that vote will be announced in the following episode. So, so far, the first episode is, has posted and that, that was uploaded on Friday. There's a link video here on my channel. So, you can go check that out if you want to see the Machinima video that you may have missed. So, there's that. What I was going to do is, whichever texture pack was the winner from that particular week, I was going to go ahead and use that texture pack for that week here on Minecraft Adventures. And I was going to use it for this episode, and then it dawned on me that the next episode hasn't posted yet, so nobody knows, I haven't announced who won that. And I didn't want to use the texture pack because that would give away the winner. Um, there's still technically people watching and voting and so on and so forth, but if there's a clear victor, if one of the texture packs has pulled ahead of the others and there's a clear winner, then, uh, you know, I don't have to keep counting those votes. I mean, it's, you know, at some point it just becomes obvious and you're just like, oh, okay, yeah, this is, these are the ones that are, they have won. So I, I know who the winner is at the, at the point of recording this, but Again, I don't want to. I don't want to uh, to give that away. So this will be the last episode of default Minecraft texture. Next week will be the texture pack of the winner. So if you're wondering why, if because I I did speak on that, but that's why we're not going with a uh, texture pack this week because I don't want to give away the winner. So that's that. Now. What we're doing here, if you'll recall, is I dug out the giant hole for the farm over there. And I said that we were going to use the materials that we got out of there to build a few different things. Now, we built the dirt tower up there. Still looks cool at a distance. I, I think it looks cool. And so that was the dirt tower. We used up a bunch of the dirt. Still have a lot of dirt, though. And I have a fun idea for what to do with the rest of it. But this time around... It was going to be a stone structure. So what I decided was if you look down at the bottom of your screen, you will notice that I actually have 44 levels right now in Minecraft. Whoa, that was all kinds of misclicks. And uh, that's a lot. <laughs> and that's obviously because I don't have an enchanting table. And one of the reasons for that not having an enchanted man i am misclicking like i'm actually gonna leave that though because i could use a step to get up later one of the reasons for that is uh i haven't been doing a lot of useful mining because i've been doing a lot of mining where i was just digging the hole which wasn't deep enough to find really useful stuff like diamonds so while i was digging that hole i did occasionally come across some coal or some iron but for the most part 99 percent of what i was digging up was just dirt and stone and gravel so these <laughs> misclicks so I have all this stone, and I had a lot of coal, too, so I decided to cook up a bunch of stone, make stone bricks, and I decided that I wanted to start working toward having a enchanting table uh, and eventually making, like, a library, and so that is exactly what I'm doing right now, that I'm working on building a library so I can have an enchanting table and start using some of these levels up. Because my biggest fear, since I do strictly play in survival, even when I'm building or doing stuff that I'm not recording, where I'm just like working on stuff, whatever that stuff might be. So I strictly play in survival. So even if I'm playing the game and like working on stuff and not recording, it's still in survival. So my fear is that something terrible is going to happen. I'm going to die, and I'm going to lose all of these levels that I've been slowly building up throughout the course of this series. So, I, I don't want to lose everything that I've done. So, I want to start 
doing some low level enchant. Okay, uh, my daughter just called me on the phone and I have no idea what I was talking about. I'm the best commentator in the world. What was I talking about? Doesn't matter. Okay, so we're building a lot. Oh yeah, low level. So, pff, um, my daughter is having a sleepover and she just like called me, so I had to answer really quick. So, um, so that's the deal. Yeah, uh, I want to do some low level enchantments. I'll just like make some like obviously all this iron gear is shredded to pieces. But I'll make some fresh new iron gear and enchant that. Maybe I'll enchant my diamond pick here. And just try to come up with, um, just use up a little bit of the levels so that if something unfortunate happened and I was to die, that all those levels aren't wasted. Because I've been playing on this Minecraft world for a while now. And most of those levels have actually come from just mining. Also, sometime in the near future, I really needed to head off into the nether. And start getting supplies because I want to start working on like potions and stuff like that. So I need to do like a full raid in the nether, you know, like look for a fortress, take out some uh, blazes, get some building materials from the nether, like nether brick and stuff like that. Maybe we can eventually build something out of that here in the overworld. So that's a possibility, but I don't, again, like if I'm going to do that, uh, I would I would feel better if I had some enchanted items to uh make it a little bit safer so and i don't want to and i especially don't want to go to the nether without using any of these levels for fear again that i would die and lose all of my stuff holy crap i did not mean to make that many i just shift clicked and made way more stone slabs than i'll ever need we'll have to use more of those later for a future build anyway maybe i'll start replacing the gravel with, with this or something and make the path look even nicer i don't know that was a lot. I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, that's the name of the game. We're gonna use uh, we're gonna use up some levels. This is this is the place to be now, huh, Cal? You're just gonna come wandering in here, and then freaking out. What is this Cal doing? That he just decided to come in here and break dance for me. That's so nice. Thank you, thank you, Cal. And they just like nod. It's like yeah, no no problem, Glucia. I'm here for you. So <laughs> that was really weird. So I did find a few diamonds while I was dang it while I was out there looking for stuffs. I managed to find a few diamonds, so I can make an enchanting table now at the very least and start working on uh, getting that going. I don't. I a goal of mine in the very near future. There's a lot of cattle in the area, and I purposely wasn't killing them because I wanted to wrangle them up at some point because I need leather to make books so I can properly make a library and do higher level enchantments. Uh, it would have been nice if I found a village because I could have just robbed all of them of their books, but say la vie, never found that village. So, which is weird. It's still weird to me that I've gone this long and just can't find one. So uh, I did go ahead and I grabbed some obsidian when I was down there. And uh, like I said, I have the diamonds now and stuff. So We'll be able to do that. I have a little bit of leather. Where is it? There it is. When I go out on these adventures, I will kill cattle that's like really far away that obviously I'm not going to be bringing back to my house. So I do have plenty of leather. I can get started on making books at least. Uh, the biggest thing about books, though, is that I need sugar cane and I only have 29 pieces so far. So that's another thing that I'm going to have to start farming a little bit if I'm going to, uh, to do that. Actually, you know what would be a cool idea? I made an infinite well uh, water source right in my fenced-in area so that I would always have some handy-dandy water. Whoops. So let's go ahead and just slap those down. I can get at least a little bit of growth from sugarcane. This cow loves the library, right? He's, like, checking it out. Yeah, you go you go in here. You'll be the, the resident cow for the library. I'm going to close you in. <laughs> I'm going to keep this cow in my library for all time. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with the roof yet. I just knew that I wanted to have the nice looking slabs for the floor, stone bricks for the thing, and I'm probably going to go ahead and make some stone style stairs for like some angled things on the roof and stuff. Not 100% sure what everything in here is going to look like, but that's that was the name of our game. Look at this guy. Look at Slick McGee here. What you think you're doing? Stay here, cow. Protect my. A library, scandalous. It's, almost, it's almost daytime anyway. I was gonna go to sleep because of all these scoundrels. But yeah, I, and honestly, normally, as you know, I really like to take the suggestions from the peeps. A lot of really good ideas for what to do with the stone, and 
I, 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 there was a really a lot of really good ideas. There really were. And some of the ideas I'm probably going to use at some point. But it just kind of dawned on me where I was just like, ah, I really need to use this stone up. I mean, I still have a lot. So, obviously, as you can see. So, there's really no worries. I have all this cooked stone. And then both of these chests are fully, fully full with cobblestone. So, we have plenty of stone. And I'm always going to be doing more and more mining. So, more and more will show up uh, with time. So... No worries there. I'll have zero shortage of stone for future projects. So uh, if, you know, if you're one of the people that suggested an idea, I haven't ruled it out yet. That is still a possibility. Keep an eye out for future. Whoops. Wow. That was some quick draw McGraw here on the clicking. So also, I'd like to directly address the new peeps if I can. I know I'm posting videos on Machinima Realm now. My first video posted at the time of recording this, the video is about 48 hours old and has about 29,000 views and honestly I was a little bit surprised at how well the video did and like how successful it was and whatnot I I was pleasantly surprised to see how well it did I with Machinima I, I feel like their Minecraft videos will average it depends on if it's a like if it's a video that's been around for a long time like they've been working on, like it's a series that's been around for a long time, then obviously it has a bigger following. When a new video comes out like mine, it's hit or miss whether or not it's going to do really good. I think on the low end of things, even like newer videos get at least 15,000 views. Some of them are lower than that, but I would say the low average is about 15,000. So for me, I was like, well, if I can get 15,000 views, then like that'll make me happy. Like I'll be hitting the low averages at least. And I hit that like in the first like 18 hours or whatever. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then it just kept going from there. So uh, huge props to anyone that's new to this channel that found their way over here from Machinima. And I appreciate the views and the support because that was, that was pretty cool to have my very first video be that successful. To be honest with you, I was thinking that, you know, my first video would be, like, the weakest. And from that point on, as I, I get established, because people from Machinima probably don't know who I am, and the video series gets established, because it's a brand new Minecraft series, that the views should go up. That was my thinking, anyway. Maybe it won't, and, you know, it'll end up sucking, but that was what I was thinking. So to already have close to 30,000 views in the first 48 hours, I was like, wow, like, that really did better than I thought I was going to. So... That made me really happy, and so if you're new to the channel, I really appreciate the uh, the views and support, as I said. Next week, uh, or during the week, I'm going to finish working on the farm in the hole, so that will start to look like something, and then after the, uh, so next episode, I'm going to, I'll probably just like show you the farm in the hole and be like, here it is, look. Uh, progress a little bit more with the library because obviously it's not going to be like a hundred percent done because it's going to take a while to acquire all the books I want because some of, a lot of the books aren't even functional they're going to be more for appearance sake just to make it look more like a library minus the cow because that doesn't make any sense we need to do a build for next week so I still have tons of dirt cobblestone and stone which obviously I can easily make into stone brick if need be. I don't plan on cooking any more stone now because I have a lot of it, but I can if it's needed. So go ahead, keep submitting your suggestions in the comments below for what you would like to see the build to be next week. We're in a big build phase right now. We had a whole bunch of videos in a row where it was more adventurous because we were going out looking for villages and stuff. But since I dug that big hole and I have all kinds of building materials, I'd like to take a step back and work more on building stuff and beautifying our area and just keep building more and more things and making it look more and more cool. Ooh, crap. Before I go ahead and break all of that, let's get back up there really quick because mobs are going to spawn on top of my roof, and I hate when there's mobs on my roof. So let's light, let's light the roof up a little bit. So comment below. Let us know. Let us know. Am I multiple people? Let me know what you would like to... C built next we have like I said we have dirt cobblestone and stone available for building materials uh, actually lots of gravel too I think I have like eight stacks of gravel or something like that like seven stacks or whatever it is so if you want to incorporate some of that just like as an accent or something like that then we can definitely do that plenty going on as far as building materials go 
I also uh, I have started working on some other stuff. I've been doing a lot of mining. Who's it? So I have. That's that's not a bad looking building. I mean, keep in mind, this is all survival, so I have to, like, just get this stuff, and I can't fly around, so it's uh, it's harder to build stuff, so I'm not, not too bad with that. I have seven blocks of redstone, seven blocks of lapis, and obviously lots of redstone and some lapis, so I was going to try to incorporate some of these blocks, especially the, the blocks of redstone, because of um, the fact that it's a newer type thing, so I wanted to incorporate that if I can. So I can use these like for certain accent pieces or certain decorative pieces for like uh, shapes in the floor or something along those lines, whatever. So that's what we're working is working with as far as what we have. Wow, I made almost exactly how many stairs I needed. Go me. I have almost exactly what I need in terms of. I have a lot of different building materials. I have a lot of different types of building materials. So, yeah, just let me know what you would like to see me build. And I have plenty of stuff to build stuff out of. So we can we can do that. I made my books. Got my enchanted table here. And one bookshelf because that's what I have so far. Like I said, it takes a while to do this type of stuff in survival. So, excuse me, count. Librarian cow. Okay, make sure I put this in the center. I don't want to screw this up. Ha-ha. And I will put down my first bookshelf, Shazam. And I'm going to enchant my pick with a level 3 enchantment. I was going to say 7, but I misclicked. But hey, efficiency and unbreaking. So I'm okay with that misclick because that was an awesome enchantment. And I think my iron helmet is still pretty full. So let's go ahead and enchant that. Level 3, protection 1, I'll take it, whatever. Just a blanket makes me betterness. So there it is. So I have started. The, I have officially started the library. I've officially started using some of my uh, enchantment levels. I'm gonna go make a full set of armor minus a helmet, and see what other kind of enchantments I can work up to use up these levels. But that's it for us today. So big thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Sorry the commentary kind of jumped around a lot, but I had some interruptions and stuff like that that made me kind of lose my place, if you will. So that might have been a little bit weird. I apologize for that try to keep it as together as I can but I tend to get all over the place and this has been a really long commentary I just now glanced over at the time of like how long I've been recording and holy crap this might be a big episode of Minecraft Adventures so I'm gonna stop talking thanks for watching everybody I appreciate the views and support as always hopefully you enjoyed yourself today looking forward to seeing the comments and I will see you next time laters